uh, it's a safe space song featuring Patriot J. As you can see here, screenshot. It's I love actually Patriot J. Yeah, yeah, me too. In fact, he's one of my most inner. I'll, I'll get to that later. That website I was talking to you guys about, but safe space. Um, not on there. His whole album's on there. He he gave me a good answer. It is what it is, <laughs> which is an answer <laughs> I love. Now I started investigating this and. The company TuneCore is who represents Bryson Gray. I was trying to find out before I wrote this article who else has been banned from Spotify. Has anyone had their music taken off? And there is some Christian uh, musician. He, he's described as a not a pastor, but a faith something. Regardless, TuneCore wouldn't distribute his album digitally. They said, we're not putting it out to all these programs, which is what TuneCore does, gives it to iTunes, gives it to Spotify, etc. So I was like, maybe it's TuneCore, but Bryson says it's not them because he's still on the other platforms. So basically mm. Spotify told him that it was his distributor. His distributor said no, it was Spotify. Spotify didn't give a reason. He's not back on there yet. Now, if we go back to today... Um, he's the song has been taken off SoundCloud now. Now that's and crazy. That's, that's weird. Yeah, SoundCloud of all all things. Yeah. What were the lyrics in the song? I mean, why ban this? Because the Did he make fun of trans I don't know people. About SoundCloud. Yeah, Brigade. he talked. Yeah, he talks about trans people. He says they're crazy. He says no, uh, you give uh, gay people too much leeway. So we know Spotify had problems with Joe Rogan talking about trans people. So I'm guessing that's what the problem is here, but here's the weird, you know, um, reason Spotify or SoundCloud gave that makes it, they blows everything out of the water. You must not use the platform to upload, post, post, store, transmit, blah, blah, blah. Anything that is abusive, libelous, which they spelt wrong, defamatory, mm -hmm. pornographic, obscene, and promotes or incites violence, terrorism, illegal acts, hatred on the grounds of race, ethnicity, cultural identity, religious beliefs, disability, gender, identity, sexual orientation, or is otherwise objectionable in SoundCloud's reasonable discretion. So, something that's, that's defamatory, pornographic, obscene, incites violence, contains legal acts or hatred. Wait, wait, oh, incites is this violence? Not, is this not 99% of rap songs? And I'm saying it that is. not to say, yeah. let's take them all down. I'm saying, is this not? Bryson doesn't even swear. I mean, I guess mm -hmm. you can make the argument that this is vulgar material he's presenting, but he doesn't swear. He's openly, extremely Christian, follows the Bible to a T. There's music and with sex sounds in it that are on SoundCloud. They don't take look, those off. Look, I Yeah, there's to music from time. the 70s about sex like and drug use. I'm, I'm talking take... literal sex sounds. That are well, on there, yeah, and that's pornographic, that's hilarious. right? And that's okay apparently because that's art. I mean, yeah, obviously it's art, so it should be fine. But they're taking this off. They're making an exception basically and saying, "Oh, we're going to enforce our rules." I mean, this is the problem with having too many laws, right? Because the laws, ninety-nine percent of the time, they're not going to be enforced. The the people enforcing the laws don't care. They don't have the time for it. They don't have the inclination. But the instant you step out of line, you say something that they don't like, and they don't like you personally, they're going to use all those pre-existing laws, the ones that they refuse to enforce ninety-nine percent of the time, and they're going to use it on you. 